So here we are again, darkening Arch's Arch. Arch, formerly Arch Warhammer. Arch Warhammer, who had to change his name from Arch Warhammer to Arch as a result of a Games Workshop. Finding out, finding out about what a monster he is. There's a little bit of a background that I need to fill you in on here, okay? So, a little while ago, um, Arch put out this uh, video called, about a game called um, Subverse. Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to a rather what special treat today. An exclusive first look at a bunch of gameplay and interactive elements of Studio FOW's Subverse, an erotic adventure that was a massive smash hit. Whoa, okay, we'll stop it there. We'll stop it there, okay? We'll stop it there, all right? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not, we're not getting into the, uh, that side of it, all right? That's too much, okay? Anyway. So, Arch Warhammer covered this, this game called Subverse, all right? He covered this game called Subverse. Further to that, the developer of Subverse found out about what an absolute monster he is and cut ties with him. So next up, we're going to watch this video here, okay? Well, that was a slightly more eventful weekend than I had anticipated, but oh well. Being lied about go. by extremist elements on the internet is <laughs> part and parcel of being on the internet, I do suppose. However, I have seen quite a few people that are still angry with Studio FOW and Subverse, and the thumbnail is correct. I do not believe that they have done anything wrong here. What happened was a simple misunderstanding based on a hasty decision, and that is it. That is what I've been reassured was the case, and I believe it. I, I really do. I, so I, can't, I can't show the um, message on stream because they're too extreme, okay? But... What I can tell you, okay, what I can tell you is that this guy has got some pretty interesting takes on certain social issues, shall we say, okay? He's got some pretty fascinating takes and he's got, let's say he's got some agreement with certain egregious political viewpoints. Let's just put it like that, okay? I figured I would clear the air a little bit here because I really do like what Studio FOW is trying to do here with Subverse, and that's why I accepted the proposition to begin with. I was contacted a little while ago uh, with the Studio FOW people and Subverse asking me, hey, would you like to do a video on our game? And I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'd, I'd love to, in fact. I didn't receive any payment, nor did I ever ask for any or broach the subject of recompense because... I don't want any. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely doing this to try and help a little bit because the thing is, high budget erotic titles is almost the sole purview of Asia at this point, or Japan almost exclusively, and I don't see why that should be the case. Surely Let's we can make good quality bit. products over here in the West as well, and <sighs> furthermore, Wait, with the video game. Hang on a sec. What was that about? He, did he just say what I think he said? That seemed a bit, a bit weird. That was a bit weird. Sorry, let me go back a bit. What was it you said? In this to try and help a little bit because the thing is, high budget erotic titles is almost the sole purview of Asia at this point, of Japan almost <laughs> exclusively. And <I'm> <laughs> Those dirty, dirty Japanese perverts pumping, pumping out porno games. That's <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Is he right? Japan is massively behind the Patreon funding some game devs get. A lot of adult games from Japan are just single devs scraping by. We need more high budget waifus. I don't know. It just sounded a bit yikes the way he put it. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know much. Listen, I'm going to be honest, right? I'm not I'm not personally a purveyor of adult erotic games, okay? I don't see why that should be the case. Surely we can make good quality products over here in the West as well, and... 
furthermore, with the video games in the West, RPGs in particular, seemingly falling over themselves to, to intentionally make uglier and uglier and uglier female characters, whilst keeping the same buff male characters, mind you, all right, sure, let's try and make a commercial success out of the game that makes the radical decision to go the other way and make attractive female characters. Small victory it may be, but a victory nevertheless. Oh my god, get so, on with it. Let's go through the series of events here the way I see them and here we based go. upon the information we got it. I have. What I presume happened here is Studio FOW, or Subverse, they got the time, the video, and they released it, and they released it across their social media on their Discord channels, and I released it on YouTube. A while thereafter, um, someone, presumably over Discord, a moderator perhaps, Is he faking his accent? Some... So basically, I got a load of angry comments on the last video on YouTube that I did about this, uh, this very fine chap. And uh, they were sort of going, oh, it's just the accent from where he comes from, they have like some British influence or something. So it's influenced his accent. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I did put in big letters on the thumbnail, fake British accent or something like that. But it just it is, to me as a British person, it is extremely unusual in terms of, uh, you know. Messages of the usual nature. Oh, God, he's a fascist. He's a racist. Despite, of course, having spoken out repeatedly on both issues in uh, no, no uncertain terms. I consider fascism to be the same as communism, a failed murderous ideology. Which... <laughs> Why is he going pro communism? What's that about? That's a bit weird. Both sides in it. Why is he doing that? Communism hasn't even been mentioned. Listen. Listen, you need to go and look for the leaks of him on Discord. I can't show him on stream. They're too yikes. But go and find them, okay? His Discord leaks are omega yikes. Like, really, really bad, okay? I see no real point in rehatching, honestly. And racism... I can summarize it as easily as this. I occasionally make a joke, makes, make, English, joke about the subjects because I consider the very it's fundamental just a joke, to be bro. absurdity. It is a, a commonly recognized language. If, if everyone understands something to be... Absurdist humor is saying the N-word, apparently. ...absurd, they will understand it to be a joke, to be humorous, or, well... At least they're used to, anywho. And I consider the idea of judging someone purely upon their external characteristics to be just that. Absurd. And therefore, honestly, excellent joke material. Because again, everyone will recognize it as absurd, and therefore, in turn, recognize it as a joke. Except, of course, we do have certain elements in this day and age that say, no, you know what, we think racism is very serious, and we want to take it seriously. Okay, well, you do you. If you do not recognize the absurdity in that, Oh well, I do suppose. I mean, it depends. It depends what we're talking about, right? It depends. It depends on like the context here. Like, what do we mean by ra like ironic racism? Like, are we talking about just saying the N word or like I don't know? He rolls where the thing shouldn't be rolled. Like, yeah, some absurdist humor around um, some some controversial concepts can be funny, right? Like, of course, you know. Like, um, like I've never seen it, but people always tell me that, the, like, um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Does stuff like that? That's quite good, you know. <laughs> Bro, sometimes you just gotta say, "Look, I like saying the N word," <laughs> and just end it. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, obviously, there's some controversial topics that you can make absurdist humour out of. But it depends how you do it, right? And it depends on 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 exactly what's being said. You know, and based on the discord leaks of this guy, allow me to assure you of something. OK, it does appear that his idea of humor, if it is indeed humor, that seems like a convenient excuse, doesn't go far beyond saying the N word. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be really clear. Yeah, exactly. It's got, you know, there's a lot of things to it, but. I'm not sure that this dude is really is really a good arbiter of comedy. Let's continue anyway. And then they sent this further up the, up the line because you know the moderators are like, "Jesus, is, is this right?" And they kicked it up a step, and that guy was like, "Oh shit, what, what the hell is this? This is about my pick." And he kicked it up, and eventually this reached someone at the top, who, as far as I get it, is on the publisher's side, so not Studio FOW, who then did what any normal regular person did, because again, it's absurd. He sent that, and he's all like, "Oh god, the, the dude we work with is a racist." Well, shit, we we've got to disavow immediately, which is what you normally do, you know, with no context, etc. Okay. And so he kicked that further down the line, that goes through two or three people, and eventually that resulted in the post that some of you saw, the disavowal. 
And I believe this is the point at which people immediately recognize, oh, whoops, this is a very bad idea, because it was a very badly written post. Um, what was the post? <laughs> I, I shan't go into any further um, further details on that, but there's a reason it, it's why... It's okay, because, co- you know, there's going to be more to the story, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get into it, so don't worry about that, okay? ...company or corporate condemnations are so wishy-washy and doesn't actually mention any wrongdoings, because once they do that, they are entering into considerably more treacherous and problematic waters, shall we say. In the case of this post, they outright called me a racist, which is a bit of a problem. And then I was sent that over Discord, and I was like, what the hell is this, then? I gotta admit, too, I was a little bit, like, a little, little, little chill was there, like, God damn it. Come on, I, I've worked with you people, you know? I, I've supported you all the way, you're making a erotic game. Surely we can agree that <laughs> po- po- political correctness is not on the docket here. And I sent a somewhat sharp message, I gotta admit, to my contact, uh, asking basically, what the hell? And immediately he got back to me and said, like, hey, I've got a dude here on the line, you know, higher up, uh, can we have a Skype call? I was like, okay, well, this is looking good. Co- you know, communication, Jesus, that's a rarity. <laughs> and so I was starting to get a little bit optimistic. I managed to get Skype working after about 15 minutes of that god-awful program, but, you know, I got in there, and I was uh, put in contact with another guy as well, who immediately apologized and basically explained the situation that, you know, he, he was an older gentleman, he didn't know anything about politics, he doesn't care about politics, it's all Greek to him, he doesn't care left or right, you know, he's, he's just a software guy, he doesn't care. And he had been sent this message that, oh god, this dude is racist, and again, like I mentioned, he reacted like a normal dude does, without any real context as to the situation. Then later on, you know, he learned about what had happened, and he's like, okay, we don't care, this was dumb, um, I'm sorry, we'll put out another statement. And okay, so, so it looks like this company put out a statement, and then reversed the statement, from what I can understand? I don't really... It's very waffly. Yeah, it's not very clear. <laughs> like, what, like you know, all these asides about, oh, yeah, I've got you Skype. You don't need all of that. You just cut to the chase. Just This video could have been, like, five minutes long, probably. He sounded absolutely genuine. I did not detect any kind of subterfuge or anything like that. He's... <laughs> to put it like that, he sounded exactly like the kind of guy who would have had a rather he- hectic afternoon, shall we say, you know? He'd made a snappy decision based upon whatever information was available right then. That turned out to be incorrect, and then he was stressing oh, out. Oh, because- right. Okay, so the publishers put out put one out, and developers put one out saying they didn't care. Right, got it. Okay. Now the YouTuber's like, what the hell? Uh, you know you're accusing me of something fairly serious here, right? And he wanted to fix it. Entirely fine. Entirely okay. You know, mistakes happen. Absolutely. I don't mind that. I'm not going to hold anyone's feet to the fire or something like that. Sure. It's, just, it's, it's silly. And they asked me, like, okay, what, what do you want in the, the clarification? I was like, okay, well, you know... I'd- you don't need to do, you know, don't write anything to defend me, I don't care. Um, I would suggest you put out, and they, they, they did that as well, and mention that this is a video game. Uh, Subverse is just a game, it doesn't care about your political alignment. Uh, you know, you can buy it. <laughs> I see that that is one of the key differentials between my camp and certain others. I don't think we should deny anyone access to entertainment. Like, why should we? If you want to play Warhammer, play Warhammer. I made an entire campaign surrounding that very idea, saying as loudly and vociferously as possible that it should be for everyone. I think that video games should be for everyone. Again, a certain passion. But 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 they are for everyone. Like. You know, it's not as if you have to do a test to make sure you're racist or not before you buy a game. Like, it's just that obviously companies may not want to have their public um, profile associated with someone who's controversial, right? You got them to say even Nazis can buy this game. I figured the small size of FW meant the publisher was rather redundant, but all right. It's like, what, what physical, what actual barrier, apart from a company putting out a statement which is like, oh, we don't want racists to engage with our product, which is like, you know, kind of a standard line, you know, like, but, but, but like, no one is actually being stopped from engaging with content that they want to on the basis of whether they're racist or not, right? Top are working damned hard to prove me wrong on that point, I do guess, but for the moment at least, that's fine. In fact, that's more than fine. That is the ideal response, I would say. Just like a company says, right, we worked with this guy because, well, he wanted to give us some PR. You know, we don't avow anything he's said or hasn't done, etc. We don't disavow either. We're just a software company. You know, we were just making a game. That's it. I entirely respect that. That is, in fact, what I would love for all companies to do. To just go, like, yeah, we don't care. You can be left, right, center, up, down, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. We're, we're Wait, what's this? Here. If you needed a are you racist test before buying a game, COD Fortnite or Valor sales would drop by 5,000%. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Oh, my God. That's so true. 
I just, I just, yeah, I just don't understand this. Like a publisher, oh, I don't know. Well, let's and continue. So, I just want to say also, I have had no problems with the good people over at Studio FOW. Um, again, I, as far as I understand it, this was a just a hasty decision erroneously made, and from someone not at Studio FOW as well on the publisher side, I do believe. Although, you know, I may have been mistaken. Yeah, bear in mind. But, yeah, I, I don't see any any harm, not any foul here. A simple misunderstanding quickly cleared up. That's good. And so I don't want anyone to be angry with them. I don't want anyone to boycott their product or anything like that. I think that would be the exact incorrect move. Now that the company has finally taken the correct action of going, we don't care about your politics, we're just releasing a game. If anything, I think that should be rewarded and lauded, frankly. Because again, I don't I don't think this was any malice. I don't think they did this in any way to screw me over or anything like that. I again think this was just a simple mistake. A misunderstanding. So and also, by the way, um, I have heard some messages, although I have been unable to verify that, that people have been banned on the Subverse Discord. Gotta um, make sure this, I get I the art approval stamp on my next video game so Nazis know they're <laughs> allowed to play it. Hey, thanks very much for the $5. I hope you're good. Yeah, you got to get that Nazi stamp. The Nazi approval stamp. <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't know that the Discord moderators simply just issue a, a pardon, a blanket pardon for that. So just like, okay, you know, uh, it got a little bit heated, we all made mistakes, it's water under the bridge, let it go, you know, that'll be fine. Um, I also did heard, hear some things about that they were reviewing the moderator in question. I did then send a message to my contact saying that I don't want any of that, you know, I'm, I, your internal business is none of mine, but I am against all forms of cancel culture. I don't think it's good, I don't think it's productive, and I don't want anyone getting into trouble over this, and they could then come back to me and confirm that, okay, you know, we're not doing any of that, don't worry, rest assured. So, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, the matter is dead and buried right there, with an amicable conclusion on all sides. So hopefully that will put everyone's mind at ease. <laughs> Uh oh! Enough. Thank you all very much for well, watching. Well, I'll see you all again <laughs> soon. And again, I would recommend you give Subverse a look because they have now actually done what okay. companies should do and simply say, no politics, we're just making a game. So, okay. unfortunately for Arch, the, sto the story doesn't end there. The story doesn't end there. Because guess what happens next? Guess what happened next? Let me uh, let me show you, okay? <laughs> so he thought he was <laughs> he thought he was out of the woods. He thought, ah, that's it, done and dusted. Okay, job done, problem solved, issue over. Next, what happened next? <laughs> it's Kotaku and PC. PC Gamer covered it. <laughs> Kotaku and PC Gamer covered it. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny. Look, the makers of Sci Fi 6 games have first apologised after teaming up with a racist YouTuber, then backtracked. <laughs> oh my god. Sex game uses far right YouTuber for promo. Claims to be unaware of his polarizing background. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. So yeah, it got a bit of attention, shall we say? It got a little bit of attention, all right. Let's just put it that way. Okay, look at this. After retracting a previous apology, on Tuesday evening, a member of Studio FOW re-apologised on behalf of the creators of Subverse, saying, <laughs> what a mess! What a mess this is! What a mess! <laughs> saying it's disappointing that under my watch that this mess happened. They re Apologize. They had to re-apologize. Oh my god, what a mess. So yeah. Yeah, they re-apologized. Anyway, I don't want to read through the whole article. Um, you know, uh you get the idea. Obviously they just covered they covered that whole that whole thing that we just saw in that video, right? Alright. But guess what? Guess what? It gets better. It gets better, okay?
Don't worry, there's still a bit more content here. Don't you worry about that, all right? Listen up. Because Arch made... Not one, not two, but three videos about it. He made three videos more about this. He made a video before the article came out. He did an article after the article. He did a video after the article came out. And he did another one. He did another video about it. <laughs> he thought it was over. So yeah, obviously the one that stands out out of all of them. We're going to watch this one, okay? So PC Gamer uses communist insult in absurd lie and mistake riddled mess. The mess here, Rats, is you, my dude. <laughs> Let's get into it. Come on. Well, look at the time. It's free advertisement o'clock once more. This time you can see PC Gamer. He's coping. He's coping so hard right now. Oh, I got some free advertisement out of this. What a jolly good show. Wonderful little article here. I'll just be reading that from top to bottom as usual. I just got out of the shower and I had a little bit of a shave, which is lovely. Now, this is, of course, in relation to the whole subverse thing. I did a little bit of a preamble video on this, musing philosophically on the idea of on comedy and humor and how we seem to, at this point, perceive things so differently as to, for someone like me, who considers the very idea of racism and judging someone purely on their external characteristics to be an absurdity. I'll turn chat off so you can see his I face. Think it's good joking material because most people, too, view it as absurd. But then you've got people like PC Gamer, who don't think that racism is absurd, apparently, and take it very, very seriously indeed. And, boy, be sure it taught me a lesson with this one. I'll, I'll tell you that Oh, much. my God, my the rambling. Was, uh, was certainly correct. No good deed goes unpunished. I'll ask for a payment next time. I want to give some advertisement to a game, I suppose. Uh, oh, well. I mean, they're paying me inadvertently through this nonsense, I suppose. I did a little musing video. That's been out for about an hour and already has 7,000 views, so... Eh. Indirect uh, reparations? Yes, let's call it reparations. Anywho. <laughs> oh my god, it's called it reparations. But listen, this dude, listen, this dude, I, oh, I wish I could show you the thing. Go and look, go and look up now Arch Warhammer Discord leaks, okay? He says some Omega Yikes things in those. It's absolutely ridiculous how, how obscene it is. And the thing is, the idea that you would try and pass that off as like humour, it's like, where's the joke, my dude? What 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 do you mean by like being absurd? Is you just say a racist thing, and that's it. You just say it. What do we got here then? The making of yeah, link it, sex game subversion. Yeah, fast, fast, link it. That's fine. If it's in chat, that's not a problem. It's only if I show them on stream that's the problem. Well, Jack's teaming up with a racist YouTuber, then backtracked. PC gamer. I think you're going... So, no alleged there, eh? Okay. We'll see about that. <laughs> PC Gamer just went in a whole hog. PC Gamer did not... Did not fuck around. PC Gamer just went in firing on all cylinders. Firing from the hip. Then backtracked. So, that's the thing. Apologised. Yeah, they said it was a mistake. And then they corrected their mistake. So... You are writing an article on a mistake that you know has been corrected. Interesting decision right there. An awkward story not sorry from the creators of one of Kickstarter's 16th most funded video game project. Subverse is the Kickstarter success story that can fund over a million dollars with the promise of a sci-fi RPG with tactical combat where you get to be a captain of a spaceship, recruit sexy alien companions, and then bang them. Since developer studio FOW cancelled past release Subverse in early access, players hadn't actually seen gameplay of it yet, even though its first chapters, of which there'll be 10, are due in early 2021. So there's some anticipation around the exclusive first look at a reveal of its tactical grid combat waifus and shmup gameplay. That's literally my title. Interesting. However, that exclusive first look was granted to a YouTuber named Arch, a controversial figure whose content platform led to him being blacklisted by Games Workshop. Commentary on the platform. Actually, oh, I think that's because I, I criticised them for taking a political stance more so than anything, but again, details. Um, as well as complaints about... <laughs> details? <laughs> details? What the fuck is these fucking fat voice patterns? It's fucking ridiculous. Feminism and how Warhammer Star Wars has been ruined by SJWs? Hold on, Star Wars, yes. Warhammer? No, not yet. In fact, that's why I launched a mailing campaign to ensure that we were to stop any even, even hints of it arriving. Why, this dude has not done any research, has he? Holy hell. Onto the second channel, devoted to topics like Islam, immigration, and his right to use the N-word. Ha, I haven't updated that in years. Good God, this is... This is embarrassing. 
Holy shit, has he done absolutely no research whatsoever? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But now also, it's not the right to use the N-word. I was putting forth a, an argument. So, the N-word. God, I hate being forced to pussify it like that. But, it's 2020, what can you do? Say it with your chest, buddy. Guess what? YouTube videos, you can say the N-word if you want. It just means your videos doesn't get monetized. Say it with your chest, mate. Go on, say it. Say it. Say it. Listen, let's do it again. I opted to that in years. Good God, this is... This is embarrassing. Holy shit, has he done absolutely no research whatsoever? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But now also, it's not the right to use the N-word. I was putting forth a, an argument. So, the N-word. God, I hate being forced to pussify it like that. But, it's 2020, what can you do? My argument is quite simple. The N-word was invented to be a derogatory term. A put-down to black people, to African Americans. It was a, a word that showed the superiority of one race over another. Say it! Say it! <laughs> Other. It was a, a stick with which to beat them. And yet, despite <laughs> there that, is. There's the, the emo. actually managed to take that word and popularize it in their own music. They have turned it into a word, a term, that means friend, brother, family, someone you are close and you have <laughs> dear relationships to. That is what it means now in the black community. Ma N-word. Oh, God. I cringe every time I say it like that. That is an achievement. I mean, holy hell. You have taken a word specifically made to put you down. You have claimed it for yourself and turned it into... He is, he is. Cat Tarrant's to the left for money. Because you can say it on YouTube. You you will not get... If you just say the N-word, as per YouTube, you just make a note of it in the advert and you can't get obviously monetized on it. But you can say it. You can unironically say it if you want. So the only reason that he's not... I mean, he probably doesn't, doesn't want to get in trouble, I guess. But the fact that, he, like, it's so weird to me that he would be so bothered about it. What is it with these people and that word? Like, I just don't get it. What, what's this? It's just not a big deal to, like, just not say it, right? Yeah, and, like, to cringe when you say the N-word. Like, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Into something positive. I mean, by God, is that not something you should be proud of? Is that not a genuine achievement? Is that not a singular, nearly unrivaled victory over racism? And yet, we can't say it. We can't attribute it to them. We have to keep it. Hey! Michael McAllister, thanks so much for the gifted sub. I really appreciate that. Hey, Joe, check it out. Got a little cheeky sub there. It's one of my favourite words. How dare you take it away from me? I mean, look. This ain't even the in private discussion. This this fella just wants to lay it out in a YouTube video. Like, assuming it's so the ridiculous. Mere of power word Nagash will send every black person into cringing fetal position. <laughs> oh my god! He just he did the thing where he said a word that sounds like it. <laughs> hey, do you remember that video that that uh, cringe guy did when he was talking about riggers? It's the same sort of thing, right? Tunes with trauma. <sighs> Remind me again who has the problem with the racismus here. Ugh. Arch used to post videos under the, the name Arch Wama until Games Workshop decided... It the thing is as well, video. right, listen. L can I just be real for a second, okay? Everyone listen, okay? This dude is, is like... I mean, like, look at his skin. This dude has got the whitest fucking skin I've ever seen in my life. He's practically fucking translucent. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there isn't there isn't any skin tone to him. So, so the fact that this fella, the fact that Casper over here, the fact that fucking Casper over here wants to drop an M bomb, I don't know. That gives it a whole different edge as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, look at him, seriously. It's the palest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. This guy would lay out in the sun and it's like a fucking prism. It would be invisible to the to the naked eye because all the fucking beams of light would be would be fucking would be flying off him. And it's not just that either. He's also white in his mind. Like he's he is like he has internalized the concept of whiteness. Do you know what I mean? 
This dude's whiter than a bag of fucking flour. Okay. Honestly, like seriously, <laughs> it brings a whole different edge to it. Okay. There's a lot going on with this video, this story, this arch. Yeah, true. I didn't expect him to go so much on the fucking the M-word stuff, honestly, but here we are. Guy, yeah, well, it's not quite, but again, no research. Made him remove the word one from his channel and convinced World of Warships guys of walking net and the promotional relationship with him early in this year. In the Mr. Program, the bro won't fucking sell. See, that's interesting too, because if what the PC game article here is saying is correct, that's torture's interference. Because I, see, I assumed that they had informed Wargaming before that, and then Wargaming had, through an error, actually contacted me. That was what they said. That was what their statement mentioned. Now PC Gamer is implying that that actually happened afterwards, where Games Workshop then approached World of Warships and then informed them not to he do work out with a me goblet. after having signed a contract with me. PC Gamer, I am going to want you to back that up, because if you have proof of that, that is very, very interesting. If that is just merely wild statements, well, that's something else, but that's torture's interference. Like, what the hell is this dude? Now, hold on. What we said, we specifically warned against workshop to not work with this influence and agreed to it. Yes, that's be... In the midst of a program, where my friends going... Until they decided one of the search blah, blah, Channel convinced World of Warship to not end, end the promotional relation with me. He contradicts himself in the same statement. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Wait. Right. Birdie, you really think I'm going to be playing some goofy ass music like that under my stream? No fucking way. That's. <laughs> Welcome to the Chud Logic stream, everyone. Like, no, of course not. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, I guess. Uh, he's a banned topic on R40K lore, and the guy, a formidable World community manager, called a dickhead. Yes, I have been slandered by a friend. <laughs> they called him a dickhead. That's so funny. Wait, that's so funny. Right, okay. Listen, uh, that's good. <laughs> moving on, I guess. Uh, he's a banned topic on R40K lore, and the guy, a formidable World community manager, called a dickhead. Yes, <laughs> They called him a dickhead. Someone called him a dickhead. I love that. Something. He's fucking seething about this. Oh my god. Slandered by Creative Assembly, and they apologized to me as well. That is correct. And R40K Law is a private 40k forum. They can do whatever they want. That's why when Subverse gameplay reveals given to Arch as an exclusive, people were upset. Actually, I don't think they were. Hey, let me give you a little look here. So, this is the video in question right here, right? It's got 146,000 views at this point. It has 6.8 thousand upvotes and 700 downvotes. That's a 90% approval rating. I don't know. I don't think you know what you're talking about, buddy. In fact, I don't think you made it did any kind of research here whatsoever. This is embarrassing, PC Gamer. What the hell? This is one of the worst articles I think I've ever read. Over the weekend, there was such a backlash that Mods eventually stated, over the weekend... God, yeah, you, sorry. Not done. Can we just be no, real? It, yeah, it, obviously getting called a, um, a dickhead is not slander. And yeah, this is the argument ad... Uh, is it argument ad popular or something? I don't know. I'm not into the nerd stuff. And within the hours... Where they put it's out the up. statement. My it's god. Is, well. We will be automatically removing any future content made by this YouTuber to our subreddit. I have not heard that. Are you making more stuff up? Because last <laughs> time I talked to them, they apologized to me and said they were offering a retraction. So, we're just going to do that for you. Responded quickly and apologetically. Community manager at 4chan posted on Discord that we're not aware at the time. Well, we know that. However, that post was soon deleted and followed by one that reversed position from the same position at 4chan wrote. A uh, statement, apology, apology, was suddenly deleted, archived here, was it? Uh, so the key, we now have problems with Arch. There you go, then. We seem to want to show kids one of our gameplay, blah, blah, yep. The claims that we had no problem with Arch personally, so had no political affiliation, sits uneasily together. Why? Why does a company saying that it doesn't care about your politics conflict with that? It's worth being explicit about the kind of things Arch has said in the past. Jokes. Yes, I have made jokes. The Warhammer community doesn't like him oh and has previously called, him, called a bunch of Discord leaks. Previously collected. The Warhammer community doesn't like him. I have 230,000 subscribers, my boy. I am one of the largest Warhammer channels out there. <sighs> oh, oh. Ah, the self-suck. Ah, so you can tell this motherfucker ain't British because he's got absolutely no shame in self-aggrandizing like that. 
How much money does he make? I don't know. Probably a fair old whack, I bet. Yeah, do you see my sub count? Yeah, Vass is putting up a good link. If you want to know the tr the, the, the situation with Vass... Uh, sorry, not with Vass. It, read Vass's link if you want to see the situation with Arch Warhammer, okay? Because that lays it all out. Shit, this is nothing but a pile of absolute bullshit. All right. Arch is blaming black people for slavery. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you mean yes I pointed out that Africans were part of the slave trade then yes read history you bumbling buffoon have you oh my god <laughs> what is this oh it's inc incarnation of the reset <laughs> comedy section yeah he's got a saga laugh source History, bruh. Trust me, bruh. Ever heard about the Barbary pirates, perhaps? The African slave trade? Oh my Jesus. Oh, this is painful. This is difficult to read. And then there's the... An atheist. God does hate yellow people. Yes, I am an atheist, you bumbling moron. <sighs> he also dislikes travellers. Travellers? Lamenting... It used to be possible to shoot... What? Shit. This music is doing my head in. Why has he put this theme tune under it? This is so fucking goofy. Why can't you just speak normal? Them? Travellers? Now I don't even know what he's talking about. Refer to the Wormer creatures Gnoblas as being the gypsies of that universe and a subspecies in the same video. They are. <laughs> don't blame me for Games Workshop's law. Right, so... It is getting rather painfully obvious that you don't actually have the faintest bloody clue about what you're talking about. Here. No, no, no. Tra Traveller is like um, like Romani people. It can be a way of referring to like Romani people or, so, you know, it's a derogatory term. The same that like uh, Romani people or Irish Irish people. It's, yeah. Roma people. Yeah, go, go and look into it. Yeah. And it actually hurts a little bit, but Gnoblans, at least you managed to correct your uh, your mistake from the email where you called them, what was it, Grobnars or something like that? So, Gnoblans are a subspecies of Greenskin. This is in the lore, this is canon, this is Games Workshop, this is Warhammer's lore. Yeah, I, are you lit? This is Warhammer's lore. Greenskins are a, an alien Oh yeah, sorry, species. sorry. They grow... G G Gypsy is more for Romani and Traveller is more for Irish, yeah, yeah, yeah from fungus. There are orcs, there are black orcs, which some consider to be a subspecies, other consider to be an evolution of orcs that have simply grown tougher and stronger. There are... But what... what okay, yeah. th this is this is quite common with these fucking nerds, right? What they'll do is they'll they'll just, like, say they're just explaining the law, but use it to create this sort of subtext of racism as well, right? So they'll use the law as a defence against, like... Do you know what I mean? The, the Thermian argument. What's the Thermian argument? There are squids, there are snotlings, and there are gnoblars. All of them are green skins. And yes, the gnoblars are specifically described as little shifty ass creatures that steal anything and everything they come across compulsory, and they are enslaved by the ogres. They are a stereotype. I'm sorry you don't like Warhammer's law, buddy, but that's not really my issue now, is it? And calls them house n words. <sighs> I'm so sorry for making an edgy joke in 2016, though, was it 2016? It was ages ago anyways, but here's the thing, okay? So, I was referring to not just Gnoblas, I was referring to specific Gnoblas, preferred yeah. Gnoblas. Where's, where, where's the law then? Because it just sounds like he said, like... <laughs> when he says a lot of, in this anime, and some of says, well, duh. In this world, they have to survive as part of their species. That's a Thermian argument. Ah, right, okay. Got it. So again, I know you don't Joe, have to I agree. Fight. He is. Like, he's he's painfully... He's pain... He's translucent. It's... <laughs> it's like the founding fathers made him and threw him into 2020. Yeah, something like that. I'm just clear what you're talking about here. And God, it's obvious, but... Ogres will occasionally claim a gnobla. Ogres are the creatures that own them as slaves. Again, bring it up with GW, not Oh with my me. god, why are we going into they all the law? I don't care about your... ...out of one of their big floppy ears. We don't care about your fucking nerd shit. We don't care about you sucking yourself dry, about how much you fucking know about this stupid nerd stuff. Once they've done this, the, the unique teeth mark of the ogre will then serve as a... Who fucking as a, cares? As a mark of ownership. 
This Gnobla then receives a much higher status than all the other Gnoblas. It is punishable by death for any other Gnobla to attack a favored Gnobla. They are also given preferential food, uh, lodging, treatment. <sighs> Many of them are treated like outright pets and beloved creatures by their ogre masters. And they, in turn, bully the ever-living shit out of the other Gnoblas. Because Gnoblas are pretty goddamn vicious creatures. There's one point in the law where they describe that there is nothing a Gnoblar enjoys more than catching a person, a human, an animal, or whatever else, in a trap, and then slowly torturing them to death. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of creatures you, whose, whose honor you are apparently currently defending. And so I ask you, what pop cultural, edgy, chalky, kind of funny and absurd term can you think of? <laughs> Imagine if, it, yeah, some of these fucking geeks know more about this shit than they do about fucking real history. As to a, a favoured slave given preferential treatment by a master and thusly hated by all the other slaves. I know, journalists are not in possession of the widest vocabulary, so I'll give you some time to think about it. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> Oh, there's this word that exists to describe this person in a very racist way, so therefore it's okay for me to say it. What is this fucking argument here? Oh my god. Voting that this term is something for which this channel is rightly famed, did I? Before subsequently delisting the video. That's something I did like a year ago, so you're- God, never mind. I'm- If I correct every damn little mistake this article makes, I'll be here till Christmas and be past. PC Gamer reached out to Studio Affidone for comment and received the following. Thanks for your inquiry, we have no further comments this time, and I'm excited to, re to reveal more subbers for to the public in the coming months. Right. That's that's a good statement. That's just a flat out statement. We don't care. We don't care about your hit pieces, it's nonsense, screw off. Art himself has claimed the statements are part of his sense of humour. Yeah. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know. Rich my, uh, rich my email, he told PS Gamer racism is absurd and therefore makes for a good joke because it is universally recognised as absurd. If you don't view racism as absurd and don't see obvious jokes what they are, then that's your problem, not mine. I stand by that 100 bloody percent I do. Partnering with a YouTuber to promote a, your game necessarily gives you some control over how people react to your product. The Studio FOW claims that it has no political affiliation. Where is it going with this now? It's strained by the fact that it's collaborated with a person who regularly produces reac reactionary... That's a communist term, okay. Thank you for bringing it out in the open. Wait, what? He just said reactionary is a communist term! Reactionary is a political science term that's existed before um, communism even fucking existed as a, as a concept that, that Karl Marx wrote about. He thinks reactionary is a communist term. It's a political science term that's existed for hundreds of years. Joseph de Maistre is, it was considered, the person who's my profile, from my profile picture, was considered one of the original reactionary thinkers because he called for a return to monarchy after the French Revolution. <laughs> he thinks, he thinks, like that's just like a standard political science term. And he thinks it's communist. Oh my God. That's absolutely classic. What an idiot. What a fucking buffoon. Uh, reactionary explicitly political videos. Well, I don't actually make all that many political videos anymore, but I, I, I actually, you know what? I'll take the word reactionary. I will bear that like a badge of goddamn honor because it means I am in opposition to authoritarian communists like yourself, apparently. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that at all. <laughs> What is he talking about? This dude, I tell you what, I tell you what, mate, put down the law books and go and pick up, go and pick up a fucking dictionary, mate, all right? Or just do a quick Google search. This dude is so white, he'd be a French aristocrat. Like, what is this sex? What is this line of fucking thought? Or reactionary is a communist term, therefore PC gamer communist. What the fuck? Reactionary. Between frequent discussion of Warhammer Law in the past six months, our channel's published 10 minute monologues criticizing his game's work statement that Warhammer is for everyone. Oh, yeah, I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, reactionary, to, in its simplest, most exp explanation, simply means. Um, in opposition to progressive change. You're reacting to progressive change and normally it means you want to regress society back to a previous, um, you know, perceived to be superior state. Right? Like, it doesn't mean any of the stuff he said. It certainly isn't a communist word, right? Like, I don't know where he's got that from.
be one. No. Oh, God damn, this hurts. I was criticizing the statement they put out further down where they said that Warhammer is for everyone if you agree with us. If not, you will not be missed. God, this is awful. In fact, I made oh, an email it. campaign, PC Gamer, where I stated Warhammer is for everyone, no buts. What the hell is this? I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen some bad articles about me in the past, but at least they've usually pretended to be objective. They, they, they've made the attempt to be vaguely yeah, neutral. Basically, he, he did this email... Ca the email campaign was pathetic. There's a video that I did about it on my channel, but it was honestly the most pathetic thing, telling people to like email Games Workshop because they basically put out a statement. It was kind of like a generic, like, oh, yeah, we don't want racists associated with our products, you know? But it was, you know, it was it was something, I guess. It was, it was you know... How dare you exclude racists? Yeah, I don't think the campaign even went anywhere. But yeah. Let's just pretend to, you know, present the, the facts, quote-unquote. This is absurdity. <sighs> Celebrating the US government's ban of federal agencies conducting racial sensitivity training. No, not racial sensitivity training. That's yet another lie. I... Oh, God. This is getting painful. He's I getting a headache. Said, yes. Trump has banned critical race theory. Not racial sensitivity. Critical race theory. Who fucking speaks like that? What the fuck is this shit? Just speak fucking normal. Jesus Christ. Critical race theory. Why does he fucking sound like this? It's so cringy. Just speak fucking normal. Training, which I still do probably believe is nonsense, but it is different. Mocking rights consent to create a more inclusive workplace? You mean the company that was sued by a bunch of the female employees for sexual harassment? Oh yes, better protect their, uh, their uh, honor, of course. In the wake of a class action discrimination lawsuit and other incisive topics. Like, holy shit. Is that the end of it? That's the end of it. Wow, that is awful! My god, that is terrible! Wow! This is one of the worst articles I have ever read. Like, this is unbelievable. Like, this is genuinely amazing. It's just... It's not even, it's not even just misinterpretations. It's outright, outright lies. Demonstrably, too. Oh, dear. Wow! Uh, that is incredible. I don't know. Is is this just clickbait? <laughs> is is that what is what this is? I'm I'm stunned. I'm genuinely stunned. And the writing too. It starts with a libelous statement and then continues on. And again, this is the best part. This is the best part right here. Uh, what was it? The the battle warship. Where was it? Oh God, where was it? I need to find that. I need to find that. I need to find that again. There it is. Uh, it made him room on a worm from channel. It convinced World of Warship creates a war game net to end the promotional relationship with him earlier this year in the well, midst of a program. If he thinks it's libelous, why doesn't he, like, file a claim? Why doesn't he do something? <laughs> like, if he really thinks it's libel. Program. Earlier this year in the midst of a program that brought 140k Star Warship into the game. That's torture's interference. You can't go into a contract that is already <sighs> signed and interfere with that relationship. Like, this is wargaming statements. They are saying they were warned beforehand. You are saying in the midst of. What do you know, yeah, yeah. PC Gamer? Yeah, he thought getting called a dickhead is slander. <laughs> what, like, is this just an... I'm, I'm... That is interesting. That is genuinely interesting. That is genuinely interesting. I think... I don't know. I think I might have to do something about that, because... I don't know. I must, I'm assuming he's just written terribly, but... On the off chance that he has asked for a comment and been informed that this was break broken off <sighs> mid-contract. Very, uh, but I'll get to that a little bit later. So, this is an embarrassment. I mean, this is... Oh, when I was making my little musing video as well, I was thinking to myself, right, so... You assume malicious intent very often in this day and age. That is why somebody can see a joke, a, a literal quote from a stand-up comedian, in the case of Chris Rock and me, where they go like, oh, well, this Wait. is clearly racismus. Whereas any other... Wait, did he say he's a stand-up comedian? You assume malicious intent very often in this day and age. That is why somebody can see a joke, a, a, a literal quote from a stand-up comedian, in the case of Chris Rock and me, where they go like, oh, well, this is clearly racismus. Whereas any other normal person will look at that... Racismus. 
What does he call it? Resisma? What's that about? What's the resismus thing about? Is he just maybe mocking the idea of racism? Resisma, resismus. Well, that's a joke from a stand-up comedian. Ergo, it's a joke. It is only if you approach that with a certain degree of malice that you arrive at this kind of a conclusion, this kind of writing. And I was trying to be charitable in my little musing video, saying like, right, by saying that, I am myself assuming malice on the other part, which makes me no better than them. But, well... I, I think I think that is no longer uh, an issue. I don't think we need to worry about me assuming malice because I think we've had it proven quite thoroughly. Now, this is interesting to the point where I think I might have to send a quick little email, but uh, we'll see about that. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, this is incredible. Like this is unbelievable. This is to the point where I am genuinely interested. Like what was it? Uh, ah, Richard Stanton and Jody McGregor both, huh? Interesting, because, like, normally I'm saying, like, don't contact people, but holy shit, this is one of the worst... Actually, no, yeah, don't... They're just gonna delete it anyway, but... Boy, <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> well, I'll end it there, because I love beyond they... just resetting it... Okay, oh, how damn it. ungodly terrible this is, I don't really have all that much more to say. <laughs> Until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Till then, have a good day. I love it when they flip-flop live and they're like, I'm going to send an email. Actually, no, no, they'll, they'll probably just delete it, so I'm not going to bother. It's just so funny to me. Oh, my God, that was so good. So there we go. There is the story. There is the full story of uh, Arch Games Workshop Kotaku and this game subverse that's it obviously there's more videos to watch but uh, I, I don't have time to sit through all of them um, you know and also my my brain is slowly turning into mush from listening to that absolutely cringe music the whole time um, but yeah there we go more arch content served up I hope you enjoyed it